Hey, 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 welcome back to Brambleberry. It is a beautiful Thursday evening, and we just had some goodies dropped off at our place. Check it out. You probably wonder what all this is. Well, you probably know what those are. Solar panels. But this is a solar well pump. And all the goodies that go with it. Those down there, those big boxes that say heavy are all over them. Or the batteries for this. There's several batteries to power this thing. And then these are all the panels. So we got a little bit of good news uh, a few days ago when all the stuff finally came in. The, um, the guy that's doing our uh, well pump for us, installing it. He said, well, I got a bonus for you. We're not going to have to use your solar panels because we have eight 100 watt solar panels that come with the pump and are supposed to, excuse me, these uh, gnats and mosquitoes drive me crazy. And these panels are supposed to be used with this pump and the charge controller that goes with it and all that good stuff. So that's awesome. And it's for the same price as what we thought. We were going to have to use our own panels and now we don't have to, which is great. We can use those for something else. Um, <clears throat> but those all arrived. He showed up here to uh, bring those so that I could start hooking them all together and getting them prepped. He's coming in um, in a couple of days to actually install the pump, and I have to get the uh, panels and all that ready to go. So the well's right up there, as you've seen in the previous video. And then down here, I, just, I cleared out all of this area here, and this is where I'm going to be putting the solar panels for the well. Hopefully we'll get enough sun up from here. These trees will probably shade a little. I know these will in the morning, um, but we're hoping that it's enough area and enough space here to get enough sunlight. And of course these here will shade in the afternoon. But during the, the daytime, that's when you get the best sunlight anyway. So like middle of the day, and I think we're gonna be good right overhead with that. The nice thing about the uh, pump being solar, well, I guess it's not the nice thing about being solar, it's more so the handy thing about it being solar is that the pump doesn't run all the time. You know, it's just whenever um, you're needing to use it that it runs, so it's not constantly drawing power. This one's set up to where it'll either draw power directly from the panels during the day um, and then when it's not being used during the day, the panels charge the batteries. And then at night, it'll run off the batteries. So it all, the controller handles all that. We don't have to manage any of that, which is great. And the pump also, it's not, uh, so the system we have, it's not pumping it directly to our water lines. It's pumping it into a, a pressure tank which is going to be buried underground. So it's pressurizing that tank. And then that tank is, from my understanding, is what pressurizes the system. So that's kind of how it works. That's my understanding of it. When we get it installed, I'll know more about it because I'll get to see everything as it go da goes down and gets all hooked up. So in addition to uh, putting the pump in, he's going to install a frost-free spigot right here next to the well and then run a line all the way over here across our little gravel area and back right over in that general area somewhere so that we're right next to the camper and we can hook our water up there. So what I have to do is get the panels ready. Rather than build my own this time, I ordered some solar racks for these panels. I got two sets of them. Um, I'm not really sure how well these are gonna work, but we're gonna give them a go and see how they do work. I'm not going to do those tonight, but I do need to do it sometime before the panel gets installed. Not before the panels get installed. Well, yeah, obviously, but before the well pump gets installed, I have to get those put together and set out. And they're probably just going to be, um, I'll probably just set them on some pallets or something for the time being. Um, but I eventually am going to mount them on something more stable. I may pour some uh, concrete piers or I might uh, bury some uh, posts or something in and build a frame to 
to uh, strap them down to because unlike our other panels for the um, travel trailer, these particular panels are going to be permanent because our well is not going to go anywhere. So they're going to be where they're going to be and I'm willing to um, get them installed permanently so that they don't get blown down or anything like that. As our water is important without them, we don't have any water out here other than, you know, that stuff, which I mean, it works, but it's not enough not enough for our uses so at least not from that little roof so anyway that's where we at today um <clears throat> i got one more day to get all this stuff ready and fingers crossed that it gets done thanks for watching